From either the 2D or the 3D viewer, you're able to access the MIPMPR layout from the radial menu. Click Layout, then MIPMPR. It should be noted that the MIPMPR mode is best optimized with THIN's original slice data. The following on-screen elements are the main components of the MIPMPR viewer. The study list contains all the studies selected during load. The main view area is where the data is set is loaded. Metadata, measurement calipers, and orientation labels are also shown in this view. Orientation axis shows the visual orientation of the volume in the MIPMPR view. Directions are labeled left, right, posterior, anterior, superior, and inferior and when pressed will change the view to its orientation. Strip views display the axial, coronal, and sagittal view. Double clicking any of the views will display it in the main viewing area. You will notice a colored border which represents each plane. The matching border color corresponds to the positional line. The positional lines within the strip view represent the plane of the one of the corresponding views. Again, the plane is represented by its matching border color to its positional line color. If you wish to collapse the study list to have a larger viewing area, tap the arrow that splits the screens. The following ways of manipulating the view are available in both the 2D and MIPMPR layout. To adjust window and level, hold down the right mouse button and drag. To quickly scroll through slices, hold down the left mouse button and drag. Or the slice designator on the right will move you through the data set. To scroll through single slices, scroll using the mouse wheel or use the up and down arrows on the keyboard. To zoom in, press the plus key or hold alt and scroll up on the mouse wheel. To zoom out, you can either press the minus key or hold alt and scroll down on the mouse wheel. To pan, place the mouse pointer over the volume Holding down shift, click with the left mouse button and drag the volume. The following features are only applicable to MIPMPR. We can access volume measure by selecting the measure from the radial menu. The volume measure tool measures the volume in selected slices. Scroll to the first slice at which you wish to begin measuring. Click and drag to outline the area of measurement. Repeat for each slice that you wish to measure. The result for each slice is populated in the panel and the total volume is displayed in millimeters cubed. Interacting with positional lines. Click on a solid part of a positional line and drag to move a plane. To rotate a plane, click on the dashed part of a positional line and drag. You are also able to rotate in a second plane creating a double oblique. To move the positional lines to a new location, click in the center of the positional line crosshair and drag. To triangulate in the view, hold Ctrl and click directly on a specific point to get to a specific point in a strip view. Curved MPR. Select CMPR from the radial menu. 
the bottom left pane becomes the curved MPR view. To define a center line, left click and drag, or you can individually click points in any view. For easier editing, you can switch the view you're working on to the main view by double clicking it. At any time while defining a center line, you can zoom and scroll through slices. To, an, to adjust a center line, left click and drag any of the handle points along the center line. To undo center line points, press Z on your keyboard to undo the last point. To delete a point, first select it, then press delete. To view your CMPR, double click it. To rotate the curved MPR view, left click and drag anywhere in the view. Additionally, use the scroll wheel to change the plane of the CMPR. To reset your curved MPR, press the home key. Slabbing is useful for viewing a thicker portion of the data within a single image. When in MIPMPR, select Batch Cine from the radial menu. To enable slabbing, select Slab from the Batch Cine panel. Enabling slabbing automatically creates a thick slab with a thickness of 10 times the acquisition slice thickness, in this example 6 mm. The slab can be rendered in any of the following three modes, maximum, minimum, or the average. Select the render mode from the drop-down list in the batch cine panel. We'll leave it with the default of maximum. You now have the option to adjust the slab thickness by either entering the desired thickness or you can click the plus or minus buttons. In the strip views, you're able to click and drag the dashed positional line to increase your thickness. You're able to interact with the positional lines to move and even rotate through the volume or even triangulate to a desired area. Sometimes it's useful to inspect a batch series by defining extents. Select the Extents checkbox in the Batch Cine panel. To define an Extents range, click on the turquoise extent lines and drag. In addition, from the Batch Cine panel you can select the number of slices and enter the number of slices needed or select an interval and enter the value which will be displayed in millimeters. To review the slices manually within the extents, position the mouse cursor over the main view and scroll with the mouse wheel. The Cine feature automatically scrolls through the slices in a batch. Click play within the batch Cine panel or click the play button next to the Cine frame rate box in the main view. You can modify Cine behavior from the batch Cine panel with the following controls. Wrap around, scrolls through the slices in one direction and then ping-pongs between the extents reversing direction after reaching each of the extents. Reverse scrolls through the data set in the reverse direction.
To set the speed of a Cine scrolling, click the Cine frame rate box and enter the desired frame rate. To stop the Cine, click Stop in the panel or the Stop icon next to the frame rate controls.